Hey parents, how you doing? This is David, the family pastor here at Park Cities Baptist. I hope that you had a great start to a new year. I'm excited to be coming to you via video to kind of announce a new series uh, that we're going to be launching each and every week via video to help you as a parent uh, disciple your kids. And it's all going to be in conjunction with the Year of the Bible series that we're doing for our church. And so be looking each and every week for videos that we're going to be sending out to you just as a help or an encouragement to you as a parent. I hope that you will uh, enjoy those and I hope that you'll find them uh, helpful. One of the ways to get started with the Year of the Bible is I want to encourage you to download the Read Scripture app. So on your iPad or your phone, uh, I know that Jeff and others have talked about this in worship this week, but go to the App Store, download that app, follow along with us as a church. We're going to be starting on January 7th. Uh, reading scripture together as a church. And if you are getting this video a little late, not a problem. Just jump right in and catch up with us. Uh, I think you will really enjoy uh, walking through the Bible with us each and every day throughout this year. As a part of this series, we also want to encourage you to pass on what God is teaching you to your kids. And so I thought I would spend today just showing you a couple of tools that I've used uh, over the past year to read scripture to my kids and something that they've enjoyed. The first one is the Read uh, the Bible app for kids. And I've got this right here on my iPad, so you can download this in the App Store. It looks like this, so if you find that, you're in the right place. But it's the Bible app for kids, and it chronologically walks through the Bible, has great stories and there's interactive things that they can do and activities. Uh, they won't last you the year, but it's a great start uh, to use. Another one is a book that I'm currently using called Indescribable. It's a book by Louis Giglio. It's a hundred uh, Bible lessons based on God and science and how those things go together. And my kids are loving them. One of the ways that we do that is called Breakfast in the Bible. And so each and every morning, me and my kids sit at the breakfast table together instead of the TV and we, we eat, try to eat uh, a good breakfast together and also read scripture or one of these devotional books each and every day. And I can tell you that my kids love it. Uh, it at first it was difficult and it was a little chaotic, but now each, even when I don't feel like it, when I'm tired, they're bringing me the book and asking me to read to them. You know, I find it interesting that we start the year of the Bible with Genesis 1. And in Genesis 1 verse 2, it says the, the earth was without form and was void. It was chaotic, it was crazy. I can tell you that uh, when you start uh, attempting these devotionals or reading scripture with your kids, it will be a lot like that. It will be chaotic. It will be crazy. And the kids will not really know what to do. But then God steps in and he speaks and order comes. And so I want to encourage you to keep with it. Uh, do what you can to make this a habit in your life. Maybe breakfast in the Bible would be something that would work for you. Keep Keep doing it, and, and God will speak, and order will come. Your kids will start to enjoy it. So I, I just want to encourage you to uh, to start the new year out with, with Read Scripture app. Uh, maybe it's one of these, these tools that will help you. Uh, and I look forward to coming to you each and every week with just a little tip or something that you can do with your family uh, to speak God's truth to them. We're excited about what, what uh, the year is going to bring, and uh, we'll see you next week. Have a great week. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.